coach again when you let's go back to your experience here in the Philippines now like what what do you see though in Filipino basketball players that really I mean, sets them apart? Or what is there something special that you see? Because you, you did have a lot of success also with uh, the Philippine teams that you coach uh, and, you know, you, you've competed against the Philippines a lot. So what, what, what makes Filipino players good, though, in, in general? First of all, passion for the basketball. That's the first thing. You know, they like basketball. I always uh, said, you know, why Chinese players are not uh, successful because of the, of the population, because of the talent, skills, and everything, because they don't have passion. Filipino players have a passion. Secondly, Filipino players are very athletic. When I saw your team in, uh, in Jakarta, you know, they are flying, you know, that, that's, that's amazing, you know, that, that's, I didn't see a long time the, the, the players who are who are that athletic, like Filipino players. They have everything now. Uh, I didn't see that they have uh, now some small size uh, point guards like Tenorio, like J. You no, know, the point guards Tordi Ravenna, even Kiefer Ravenna is a little bit stronger and uh, and more athletic than than the players before and. These things make uh, even I, I was talking about the size of the big guys, even of the wing players. The size now is not a problem in Philippines. I think that uh, the athletic possibilities, what what uh, what uh, skills and shooting possibilities, what Filipino players in a in a in the future will give give them a lot of result. And there is. Uh, there are a lot of players who are coming, who are good, who are athletic, and uh, with a good import, you know, they can make a really good result. Warning on Coach Paulo Layud for delaying the game. Technical foul on Coach Anton Altamirano for resentment to a call. Coach Charles Chu out of the playing court. Coaches unfiltered. No refs. No tax.